Activation code required. Access granted. Warning. Evacuation sequence activated. We're back. S4 Bunker tonight, coming to you live here in the Cascade Mountains in Concrete, Washington. Uh, yeah, so tonight we're talking ancient mm -hmm. structures, and is there an alien connection? And we, with us tonight, uh, we have Harmony, our wild crafter, and we have Joe, our resident geologist, actually. Uh, so Pointy stick master. He will be awesome talking ancient structures for damn sure um so how are we all doing uh, since we have thank you joe you said you sent your damn storm it just couldn't stay in california so it's coming to fucking washington now yeah <laughs> i'm a i'm a generous guy i wanted to share with everybody right you wanted to send your rain to us that is the best thing he can send <laughs> the other options are hipsters or fire uh, no we have fire just not <laughs> right now hipsters <laughs> Like, Fire. I don't know why you're complaining. It's over. It's an atmospheric river, which I thought was rare. Yeah, you know those rare atmospheric <laughs> right. rivers are coming up real yeah, often. They're coming up all so the time now. Oh, hey, hey guys, there's an atmospheric river. Uh, I thought that was a rare occurrence. We've had what three in the last year? Four. It's not rare. They're not rare. No. It's a river in the I, clouds. I love that they're calling it the Pineapple Express, and if you look on the big weather maps, it's just barreling down right out of the Pacific. <laughs> oh. Straight out. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if it rained pineapples. Come on now. I fucking would. What? Can um, you imagine the damage that goddamn <laughs> pineapples would do? <laughs> There'd be nothing left but my bunker. Uh, well, Jesus that's Christ. the point. You're in a bunker. Your bunker's safe. There'd be so They're many not dead bunker people bus, if it was pineapples. pineapples. For fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> the swingers would be happy. Huh? Not that <laughs> Right? Uh, <laughs> Cole's Guys, just your we are powder. one minute into the show. Can we keep it clean for more than two minutes? No. Come on! Uh, really? so We're so already talking about swingers. <laughs> Think but. Hey, fucking, he's the one that brought up pineapples and rain and fucking pineapples. No, Joe's the one who brought up Pineapple Express. Yeah, so you automatically went to rain and fucking pineapple. Hell yeah! Jeez, honestly, pineapple. pineapple Express makes sense from where he lives. <laughs> oh. All right. You know what? That actually, I, I figured it out, Joe. Yeah. I figured out why your guys' firefighters can't put out the fires. <laughs> There are so many weed farms up in your area that they're all stoned. <laughs> it is the number one cash crop for the North. Right? right. Like, it's uh, pretty prevalent. You, <laughs> Everywhere. You're just standing uh, in the middle of a forest fire. <laughs> it's getting bigger and coming our way. <laughs> Do you guys see a fucking dragon? I see a fucking dragon. <laughs> oh shit, we might want to get on our fire structure. <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, yeah. So, what is, out of all the ancient structures in the world, your favorite one? Anchor what? Oh. Um. Or Puma Punko. One or the other. I like the Sphinx. 
because there's so I much. I definitely see the pyramid in the Grand Canyon. Oh shit! I just, um, damn it! So there's a video I haven't watched yet that actually talks uh, about oh. a city underneath the Grand Canyon. All right, are we talking ancient structure or are we talking like? Any are we talking man-made or are we talking either nature? Or. If either or. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, there I mean, are several cities um, in really the bottom all. of the Grand Canyon mm -hmm. that uh -huh. were covered when they created Lake Mead. Right. Yeah. And they also found, yeah. chi I think, Chinese artifacts? Uh, Egyptian oh, yeah. artifacts. Egyptian. Egyptian, Egyptian yeah. artifacts. Egyptian, Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it was a melting pot. All of these places were now, melting pots. Now, where do you think, how in the hell do you think Egyptian artifacts are getting our Grand Canyon? Well, they had boats. So, that would show Egyptians were here, what, before the Vikings, maybe? Well, absolutely the I, Egyptians yeah. were here. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. we, we're all trade routing, and That's we can't say that they didn't come uh, across the Pacific. They now have actual proof that Native Americans were here 130,000 years ago. Right. We, we did not come across the bridge. Okay. That's not what happened. We were born of the earth. Oh, sorry. Yeah, for some tribes, that's what they believe. Yeah, no, so, totally. So, uh, I know there, there's a question. Whether the Vikings were here before the Native Americans got here or not? No. No? No. Mm. no. The no. first landing of the Vikings was after the uh, Native Americans were already established you know in Vinland. Okay. Which they uh, uh, professors across the United States constantly bicker back and forth right. whether that is actually Boston. Okay. Or whether it's an area around Newfoundland. Canada. But if you well, look at the map, north, if you look at the map north. that they drew for Vinland, it looks like the Boston, Massachusetts area. Boston okay. Harbor. <laughs> so, um, but that is their first recorded visit. Okay. The thing is, you got to remember, Viking ships weren't actually that big back then. No. They fit 15 men at the most. They were big enough to tow a Dodge Ram, according to the um, Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you saw that one? Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was an awesome commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all a conspiracy <laughs> finally released by the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and now somebody 20,000 years from now will be like, they had these weird things called trucks back in the day of the Viking. Right? <laughs> like, come truck. on. Yeah. <laughs> no, they they worshipped the, the ram. In Texas. Jesus. <laughs> they have horns on the front of them. <laughs> That's true. Right? And they have balls on the back of them. <laughs> yep. You guys remember that movie by Mel Brooks, History of the World Part 1? Oh god, I gotta look for that one. And they do the Viking funeral, and uh -huh. they take off their um, helmets, and the horns aren't attached. <laughs> they're they're actually part of their head. Oh, they got holes in the helmets. yeah yeah little cave ins in the helmet, so right. it goes around the horns. I could see it. <laughs> I could too. I could see it. Uh, yeah, and then when they went, when when I drink, they just break one off and. Right. You can call me Ramesses the first. <laughs> no, I would say my favorite ancient structure uh, has changed. Uh, it used to be uh, the Colosseum. Oh, okay. Now I would have to say it's um, Treplache. Oh. Which one's that? So it is a Viking... Oh, um, the temple? Uh, well, no, it's a Viking city in okay. England. Okay, okay. It's the mountains. It is perfect, a, a perfect circle. Mm -hmm. It has four exits. One north, one south, one east, one west. They are exactly aligned to the compass. Yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome, Daniel. actually. For, uh, to the point where we now need um, survey equipment in order to design this. Right. And they did it without all that. 
right? Like it, it's an it amazing had, structure. No, and that's what's uh, curious about all the structures. Uh, I mean, like I was saying before the show with the mounds, it's perfectly aligned with the winter solstice. <laughs> yeah. But with, uh, I mean, how do they do it? How would you? You know, do one without? of the ways that they're dating some of these older structures is they look at them and they say, "Well, because the magnetic north moves." Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But there's geographic north, but some of them, they're geographic north, but some of them are magnetic north and south, and they've figured out, okay, they don't quite line up, and then they run the timeline back to when those openings did align, and that's how they can date how old the structure is. Right, yeah. They they say, well, it wasn't north and south on this line, uh, unless it was 12,000 years ago, so they figure, okay, that's a 12,000-year-old structure. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Gobekli Tempe is actually a pretty cool freaking structure, too. With all the little carvings mm-hmm. and shit. That one was pretty cool. But I, what I like about Gobekli Tepe is they've only uncovered a very small part of it. Oh, yeah. That thing goes on for There's, fucking it's miles. It's a huge complex. And it wasn't buried by natural processes. No, they buried it they themselves. They already know that the city was buried. Like, it was physically, like, they took the sand, they buried that shit. Yeah. But why? To preserve it. You think so? Yeah. (laughs) It does make me laugh, though, how, like... I'm not gonna say stupid, that's rude. How clueless we can some... how, How clueless we can sometimes be as... Uh, civilization mm-hmm. like Easter Island we've been studying it for how long and we finally figured out they have bodies <laughs> like, <laughs> why weren't we digging right? like, why, would, why, why wouldn't we somebody fucking that dig that ago? up before I don't know a couple of years ago well like, and same thing with the Sphinx yeah friend like they are finding out new crap about him each year that's why uh, I, I like the Sphinx so much is because when they actually dig underneath it, what are they going to find? Are they well, gonna... they've already found a boat down there. I know. What else are they going to find, though? Are they going to find... And uh, a library. A library? Are they going to find the Ark of the Covenant? Are they, what, what are they going to find? A Michael Jackson album. A portal. Oh, just ruin it all. <laughs> they have something in common, can. guys. Both their noses fell off. They're going to find a Pepsi can. Friend. With Wouldn't hieroglyphics. That, be... that is a Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> They open up the Sphinx for the first time, and there's a Pepsi can inside. With, with hieroglyphics on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys think that there's the same type of buildings on Mars? Uh, you know, it's always come into question of, of I can't remember, the, what's the city? There's supposed to be a city, they even named it. Sidonia. Huh? Yeah. Sidonia. Sidonia, yeah, that's it. Sidonia is supposed to be uh, uh, a city. On Mars, mm-hmm. right along with the pyramids. They've got a, they have a structure there with a big pyramid. They call it the B and M pyramid, mm-hmm. and it's it like, like, well, it. it's natural. No, it's not natural. You <laughs> can't, it, you can't get those angles naturally. Uh-uh. Fuck off. That's uh, insane. Yeah. What was that harmony? Oh, I just said it. Is, there's images that are supposedly from Mars, and the structures look like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, the, the skeptics are sitting there, nope, 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 that's just tricks of lights and pareidolia. Right. But, no, bullshit. Um, <laughs> I, I call bullshit on that one. <laughs> they also talk about the ovelisk on the other side of the moon. Mm-hmm. Like. Uh, I mean. So that means the moon is just looks like a giant ice cream cone on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. no. <laughs> no. Mm, look. <laughs> Ice cream corn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's insane. You're insane. It could be a microphone. It's a space bar. So what or if all guy. of these structures are portals to other structures? Kind of like um, fucking... Stargate. Uh, Stargate, yeah. So what if uh, at the base of the freaking Sphinx... There is like this weird little door you go through, and then all of a sudden you're on the one in Mars. You would die. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> like, like, what if they're just portaling from one planet to another through the structures? Well, so they did find a door at the bottom of the Sphinx. But it was booby-trapped. It's closed. It's gone. And full of mercury. No, that's... No, those are, that's that terracotta... Fo- yeah. Didn't, yeah, I'm on that. Um, they're... Ah! No. God damn it. <laughs> terracotta. Uh, yeah. And you grab a garbage bag. <laughs> it's right there. Never mind, Nikayla just saw a black eye child. No, I didn't. I saw one of my children that shouldn't be here and was right behind me and it freaked me the hell out. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> no, they they found a door, but behind it um they found other blocks that are blocking off the pathway. From that door. Right, and that's what I'm huh. saying. So what if they move those blocks and all of a sudden you're on fucking Mars? Supposedly there's no way to remove the blo- blocks so far without destroying the Sphinx. See, so the then, trap they, was made that way. then they came Found through the Mars portal and they put the blocks there because they're like, no, you're I not saw, allowed on our planet. I saw that movie. All the scarabs will come <laughs> flying out. Right. And the mummy will come and out. And the mummy. And then Brendan Fraser will be like, oh my god! You're on the other wrong side of the river. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, 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 um. Anyways. Zombies. Mummies? Zombies will come out. Okay, well, yeah. now. You never know. Uh, <coughs> nope, not going to get into that. <laughs> so, you remember Pharaoh's curse? They thought it was, uh, the, the pyramid was cursed when the scientists, when the archaeologists went in and they were dying and whatnot. It turned out it was just gas. Yeah. Could it be the same thing with the Sphinx? Underground okay. glacial pockets? Mm-hmm. Kayla, who's the guy who built the Black Pyramid? Khufu. Okay. So his pyramid, the way it's designed... The Step Pyramid of Khufu? Mm-hmm. His burial chamber... It only opened from the top. There were they had four wooden pillars mm-hmm. holding up. Uh, it's like a twenty five hundred ton <laughs> slab. And then when they put him in with all of his stuff, they took out the four pillars and let the slab drop. Huh? Cool. They, <laughs> they think that the Sphinx. Has something had sent something like that in it, where before they left, mm-hmm. they took out whatever was holding the slabs up and dropped them. You ain't getting in there. Well, the thing that I find interesting about it is that they quarried out the Sphinx. So, if you look at the blocks that build up some of the pyramids and some of the um. Land of the Kings, Land of the Queens, uh, all that jazz. Right. Um, they come from all around where the Sphinx is. So the Sphinx was actually, not carved out of a... The, the Sphinx blocks were used mm-hmm. to build a temple called the Temple of the Sphinx, and it's right between the Sphinx and the river. They know where those blocks were. Right. But I mean, like, it's not... But like the problem it was, is, the problem with all of this is the Egyptians did not build the Sphinx. They did not build those three exactly. pyramids either. It was built in the eighth. I mean, so. so who do you think there was did? Never. Uh, uh, that's the big mystery. You know, the Egyptians. They just showed up one day. They were wandered out of the Sahara Desert and went, "Hey, look at this shit. Let's build a city." You know, <laughs> it was already there. Which is the biggest problem with the excavations and everything, because the people in charge of that are the Egyptians. And they're mm-hmm. not going to let anybody know anything that contradicts the fact that the Egyptians built this stuff. And everybody knows they didn't build it. It was there long before they ever showed up. Exactly. <clears throat> it was Bob Ross. Well, and they know that, too, because the uh, of the way it's eroded, it can only erode when there's a heavy enough rain to cause it to erode. Right. And there hasn't been enough right. rain in Egypt, Egypt since really before the Egyptians. Twelve it's twelve thousand years and it was long before the Egyptians showed up. Yeah. The pyramids were already old and the Sphinx was already ancient 
when the Egyptians showed up. Well, oh, for and, sure. Okay, so and that who, makes sense. Who was there before? I don't know. Because um, the one planet of the, of the first apes. Egyptian kings, when he built his first pyramid, it's still standing, but it's bent. <laughs> yes. Oops. He yeah. couldn't make the it bent correct. pyramid. The Peroni yeah. disease. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. For, hm. It took him four <laughs> tries, I believe. <laughs> To, try to, to actually make it correct. To erect that pyramid. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then we forgot everything, and now we got the leaning tower okay. pizza, too. No, right. so <laughs> this is the thing that, that makes me, like, I'll go, oh, my God. Okay, so 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, whatever fucking years from now, right? Some archaeologist in the future is going to be looking at shit, and they're going to go, Wow. Man, the Egyptians got everywhere. There's an obelisk here. There's an obelisk there. There's this here. There's this there. We moved that shit. They didn't. So who's to say that we haven't had several reincarnations of already of this exact same thing? Where we build up to a certain superpower. We move a bunch of shit that's ancient all over the goddamn place. And then... Some catastrophe fucking happens. We go back down to like 2,000 people on the face of the earth. And then we rebuild from there. And we're all like, oh my god. These guys. How did they get there? How did these things get there? When it's all just fucking machinery in the first place. So. Uh, yeah, well, there, there's the obelisk from Egypt in, uh, I think there's one in Central Park. There's one there's in one Central in Park, there's one yeah. In, there's one in Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, all the Europeans went to Egypt and they go, hey, look at all this free shit. All right, I'm taking an obelisk and a mummy. Okay? There's fucking mummies everywhere from Egypt. Those used to sell on the black market like nobody's business. You Everybody bet. wanted a fucking yeah. mummy. You bet. Yeah. People would grind them up and eat them. <laughs> right? And that's the thing. Is So, uh, so 10,000, 20,000, whatever fucking years from now... If we had a cataclysm where there was only a few people left and then we regrew to where we are now, we'd look at that and we'd be like, how the fuck did they do it? I think it's possible that's happened several times. That's what already. I'm saying. So how in the hell do we know that it, it, it hasn't I, gotten to the point and they actually used a goddamn bulldozer to make the pyramid? I, like, don't, know, I don't think those things will be Because they haven't found and, the bulldozer. Well, yeah, but they wouldn't... <laughs> <laughs> but How long does it take well, for well, fucking? I don't okay. think you're gonna find the obelisk. We just yeah. talked about this a minute ago. There's pyramids in Egypt, right? Okay, and there's pyramids mm -hmm. all over the world. Actually, they're in China, they're in South America. Right. Uh, the mound builders had stuff here in America, but uh, now supposedly there's pyramids on Mars. Right. Maybe yeah. we had a civilization, high tech, and we made it to Mars. We built some pyramids because I don't know they're kind of cool. Right, and, or the other fucking way around. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we. I've always thought that it's possible that we started out on Mars, right? And then after the cataclysm of Mars, that big ass strip of I don't know, let's say, giant nuclear weapon that fucking annihilated it. <laughs> okay, but let's. They say have we a did. whole bunch of spots that. Let's say definitely we did nuclear start weapons Mars. have gone off. Absolutely. Let's say we didn't start on Mars, okay? Let's say we actually started out on Earth, like science has said so far. Uh huh. But every culture has a story of a cataclysmic event, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether it be Noah's Ark or right. the flood or anything like that, right? Where it wiped out humanity. What if it didn't? Or the COVID What shot? if they left? Yeah, what no, if they... No, but like back then, what if they left? What if that story is actually older than any of us realized? Okay, so there... And Noah and his family... Or whatever. Who we actually... Well, like, whoever at that point was left behind are who we actually... Are. Yeah. Yeah, we're we descendants are, of. We're descendants of. Yeah, well, okay, so... Therefore, see, we, we didn't might not have had the ability to use any of the technology again. All of it went to mm -hmm. waste. But everyone on Mars did... But they did the same thing they did here. They screwed up the fucking planet. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they went and did it to another planet. And another planet. We're a fucking plague, uh -huh. man. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've got but a couple of theories about what it's for or, who, or how it was made. Um, I either think that it was either 
the uh, giant race in the antediluvian times that, you know, if you think about it, one day I was just like meditating and thinking about, you know, how easy it would be if a, there was a giant race to be able to lift these stones in a different way than humans would be possible, right? So my other theory is sound and frequency, and that's a popular mm. theory, you know, throughout different cultures is how sound and, and frequency can be used to not only cut stone but also lift stone lift and it. put it in place. Right. And Or it could be both. I mean, it could be giants using sound and frequency. <laughs> or it could be regular-sized men and a couple of really big Baranosauruses. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, seriously. We don't know how fucking old that shit is. Well, the Flintstones, they domesticated the Baranosaurus. Fred right, right. on one every day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the theory about the Flintstones being in the future, not the past? <laughs> Ooh, I, like that. I heard a, that I heard a, a theory that the Flintstones were on the surface of the planet, and the Jetsons were living in the clouds above them. Yeah, okay. and green people it, were down. You never below. saw the land in the Jetsons, guys. Mm-hmm. First of all, that's very unfair of everyone. Okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Elroy spent a lot of time on that time machine. Okay, <laughs> to get back to the past. So, <laughs> well, who's to say how smart he was? Rosie. But she's a fucking robot. (laughs) Now we're getting into the whole Terminator bullshit. (laughs) Guy next. Even linear. Well, okay. It's a circle. It's a circle, guys. (laughs) No, that's a clock. Okay, so I've always thought about, like, what if, uh, what if this is, like, Okay, so if you look at, like, our blood cells and all that shit, and you go down to the microscopic level, right? Well, it starts looking like planets and all that kind of crap, okay? So what if we're, like, straight up Dr. Seuss style, we're a fucking who living on some goddamn skin flake somewhere, eh? And, like, these other big creatures are, like, living on some other skin flake somewhere, and so on and so forth, and that's how we're, like different realities and different spaces in time with the same amount of time, but not really. You know what I mean? So we're a flea? No, we wouldn't necessarily be a flea. We would be living on, like, a fucking atom. You're but in a bigger <coughs> being. Dr. Seuss, like, like uh, Horton, here's a who? Yeah, <laughs> right? Like, we're living on... had their entire civilization on a puffball? Yeah, and like the the uh, who's from uh, goddamn what is that? The Grinch. They lived on a fucking snowflake. Yeah, Whoville was on a snowflake. That's the very first scene. Yeah. So what if we're just some freaking skin flake from some bigger ass being, or like some piece of pollen <laughs> off of like some weird ass flower that exists Ugh. in some Avatarian shit? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it could be an entire universe under my fingernail. Oh, crush there it, could Joe, be. Crush it. There is so many. So, like every my time universe. I fart, I take out five thousand different universes. Yeah, like manicures or murder. Then. Yeah, dude. Every time you use mass genocide, maybe, in maybe, fact. maybe like ten million of them. Maybe that's the cataclysm that comes by every several hundred thousand years. Is if somebody cleans their fingernails, <laughs> right? Or, dude, yeah. or like, uh, no, the Big the Bang cre- was the dude burping. Somebody gave the you know? a bath. Well, come on, man. That's what the flood Great was. Great values with the flip soap. Right? Exactly. Well, okay. Dog and they gave the dog a bath. Yeah, there you go. There goes a flood. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Where did all this water come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, we live on a it's fucking California. raindrop. It's <laughs> river. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, who's to say that we aren't just like a tiny little particle on some tiny little fucking thing in the bigger picture? Well, who was? Yeah, Why? Because I like it the other way around. Oh, that we're the big guys? Yeah. And there's a little who's living inside we're, us? We're ego. 
Every oh black my male, God. Male black where they fucking, uh, the earth is part of a... Well, I think that works, <laughs> too. I think that inside of us, there's probably thousands of fucking universes. And inside of each of those thousands of I universes, there's too, thousands more. I think it goes both ways. And I think that's how we have yeah, parallel universing and everything. Yeah, I think that's how that's parallel problem. universes fucking live. Okay? And that's how we're sharing the same space and time, but different space and time. You know what I mean? You know who came up with that as above, so below? Aleister Crowley. Crowley! <laughs> oh, God. Fuck that guy. It's in the book of the law. Uh, it's the Crowley. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I see it's also in Men in Black. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> what, as above, so below? No. <laughs> the fucking, yeah. like, that stupid cat had the entire universe the on it. is around. Uh-huh. Yeah. Around his neck. The, or, like, we were inside right. a freaking yep. marble that some alien and kids were playing with. And walker in the second one. Uh-huh. Yeah. And there's yeah, a as above, so below is, like, an ancient code of, of like, hermetic principles. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, yeah, it goes back to Egypt or beyond, I think. Oh, dude. Bad Way beyond. beyond. Huh? Bed, Bath, and Beyond, yep. Beyond the Beyond. Um, I'm... I'm still... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> personally, I think it was an alien race that was on Mars. It wasn't us. Oh. They destroyed it, and they came here and built pyramids and left. Well, that's fucked up, Eric. Just hey. pass the buck, eh? Uh-huh. You know, it couldn't have been us. We don't destroy planets, you know? I no, 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 no. If, you, if you look at Mars, one side of it is heavily cratered. Well, the not only has a it, gigantic. There's a gigantic crack. They call it uh, Valles Mariana. Valles Mariana. It's not from erosion. Yeah. It's the no. planet is cracked. And what's right between Mars and Jupiter? A great big asteroid belt. Maybe that's the planet that lost the war. Right. Yeah. Their entire planet was destroyed. Mars was left over, but it was uninhabitable, so they moved to Earth. Well, they yeah. said during uh, in the time before the great, the first fucking great bombardment, right? That there were actually like seven Earths that were circling around, and they kept crashing into each other, mm-hmm. flying into the sun, flying out of the solar system, everything else well, to create all of this crap. And the only reason our Earth has survived is because of Venus. Because of yeah. Venus, yes. It's blocking everything. It took one for the team. Yeah. Yep. By fucking dying a horrible, horrible death. At least it wasn't your anus. <laughs> hey, my anus is not taking one for the team, Eric. <laughs> not taking a hit for the team. <laughs> no. But it has died a horrible, horrible death a few times. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what, what, what's that? What's that? What's that old fucking joke? Taco Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> Uh, What's the similarity between what was it? Uh, toilet paper and Star Trek? What the fuck? Oh, three seashells. Cling oh. <laughs> <laughs> arms around your anus. Yeah. Well, what does uh, uh, the Enterprise and toilet paper have in common? They both circle your anus, searching for Klingons. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 It's uh, one of Kayla's mom's favorite jokes. Yeah, my mom's fucking weird. She's great, but she's weird. No, she's a Trekkie. Oh, through and through. She's got a whole freaking room in her house. You've seen it. Mm-hmm. The Star Trek room. You Every fucking thing in there is Star Trek. Uh-oh. Every you know those plate collections that you used to, wow. to buy on TV? Wow, I want to meet her. I'm a Trekkie. Yeah. <laughs> no, she it is fucking Deanna epic. the original Enterprise and all of the crew. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, she has like all oh, kinds of fucking crazy shit. The original uh, um, Barbie doll that came out that was uh, a Captain Spock. Kirk. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's Captain Kirk and uh, oh. Oh, her. Or her. Okay. She's dead. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, I actually watched a uh, memorial of who we've all lost this year. Last year. Yeah. There was a lot of them. Yeah, there was. Fuck. So what you know, do Kirk you... and her that was the first interracial kiss on television. Mm-hmm. Yep. So what do you think the purpose of the pyramids could have been? The purpose? Yeah. Why would they have one on Mars? Why would they have one 
How how would they get it get one under the ocean? I think we need to dig further. They're not pyramids. Well, it could totally be like a jump room, like a stargate. You know, like you said. I think they're Rubik's cubes. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking a Rubik's cubes. Mm-hmm. We open it up and then we get to journey to the center of the earth. No, that's. No, I honestly think we need to dig a little further and find out what's actually underneath. Like, they never have thought to actually look at the underneath structure and what the shape of it is. I'm sure somebody has. There's like an aquifer underneath the pyramid. There's like a a whole water system. I think it actually could truly be an energy device of some sort. But what I mean, Harmony, is the the actual structure of the basement. There, there's no oh, right. there's no diagrams of the actual bottom structures under no. the ground. Right. Well, they do Just have they have gone you know, have the king's up chambers them. up near the top. Yeah. The king's chamber chambers up near the top. Then there's the queen's chamber about the middle, mm-hmm. and then there's another chamber that's actually down into the bedroom. <clears throat> right. But I when mean, you, it's built when onto you see, the, sorry, Joe, when you see, didn't they try di- to put little cameras down there or something and hit water? Yeah, yeah. But when you see diagrams, right of next it, to it's the Nile. just the openings. There, there is nothing to actually show what the structure. It, it's like looking at an iceberg. You see the top, and then they actually take a picture of the outside of it, mm-hmm. so you know what the structure of it is. There is no pictures of the structure. It's just the openings that they have been able to actually travel through and find. The, t- the tubes or the passageways. Yes. Or whatever. Yeah. <coughs> All the dead rooms just look like tube systems. So tubies. Kind of like Oak Island. Remember how they <laughs> went? They they were going down into that channel, but there was too much water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's underneath the water under the pyramid? That's what I'd be curious about. The bodies. Right. <laughs> That's where I'd put them. Right. No, it. I... Make sure. <coughs> water. If they're obviously to... I, like, there's got to be some kind of power source down there. Mm-hmm. Right. I wouldn't want to be the first one to go in there. <laughs> well, okay, so the part that always bothered me was they have that intricate lighting system where they uh, shift mirrors. Yeah. Oh, bullshit. Well, but you, know, the, you nope. get nope. F- 15 miles in, and Here someone at the, the beginning home. someone at the beginning bumps one of the mirrors, the entire place goes dark, and you have to walk 15 miles. Uh, okay, down. and not only <laughs> that, but the way that the mirrors are set up and the way that they talk about the mirrors... It wouldn't have enough light to reach the end of that fucking chamber. Exactly. After the bounce off it, and everything like else, in, there's no way like that, that it would the, light that chamber. Eh, the generator King's chambers and stuff like. are like that. They they figured how did they get these intricate drawings and paintings in the Valley of the Kings in these big crypts that go down, they turn left, they turn right, they go downstairs, they go out to other branches. There's no way because they didn't have mirrors back then. They had the best they had is polished brass. Yeah. They couldn't yeah. focus light to get down there. After two or three turns, it's gone. Well, right. why did, why, there. But why I, do you think they made big dead batteries? For the flashlights they used. Exactly. You know? On one, on so, one of the uh, temples, <laughs> there's a big carving of a gigantic light bulb. So, yeah. what does any battery require? A potato. Positively charged Positively water. Positively right. So what if that's actually what is underneath the pyramid? Could be. Yeah. So what if the entire fucking pyramid is just a giant ass battery, and that's the power mm-hmm. source? Just like we have <laughs> nuclear like uh, fucking facilities, right? Didn't uh, the then pyramid we have a mission, itself? We need to figure out was where the we power source. Plug in our cell phone chargers before we go there. <laughs> like, <laughs> No, because we uh, talk about an intricate web of like all of this fucking shit. Uh, we have uh, Tesla, who talked about the natural grid and the power sources and the air and the open wavelengths and everything else. Mm-hmm. Well, if you have all of these structures, and I mean globally, you have all of these structures. Right, it's not just in plan. Egypt. It's not just in... It's fucking everywhere. Okay. So if you have all of these and they are sucking up the power of the power grid of the natural, right? Then 
you have wireless power worldwide. If you, if you figure out how to power it, absolutely. That's all you need. And honestly, if you are really thinking about it, half of these fucking places are high in mercury content. Okay? There's your acetone. All you need is a base. Do you know what a base is? Hey, guess what? It's either mud or sand. We're fine. There you go. You have a giant battery. Well, that's the thing. Like you said, Tesla discovered it. He figured it out. He tried building it, but those guys like Westinghouse and all the big bankers at the turn of the century, they shut his ass down. Well, of course they, they did. Couldn't they couldn't make any money off of free power. They couldn't make any money on it. And well, we're still uh, suffering for that today. I honestly don't know if we should be messing with like the bag deck batteries or if the pyramids are a power source, if we should be fucking with it. Well, see, that's the thing, though, is that the pyramids might have at some point been a power source. But... The problem with them now is we don't know how to power them. We don't know the intricacies of it. So, But we also don't know how much power they can actually generate. Why and the fuck do you think people keep dying? Why do you think people keep dying? But that's the thing. If we actually <laughs> we stump- blown planet. <laughs> Yeah, if we stumble <laughs> across how to turn them on, uh. we could be screwed. Well, yeah, and, well, and, oh, has anybody seen Oh, not. God, what the fuck is that? Total Recall? All it took was a hand. Quaid. Generator. Yeah, exactly. That was Fifth Element, too, though. They put the elements on and... Exactly. Think about what I said. We need to find a place to power our cell phones. Friend, like... You plug in your cell phone to a pyramid, all of a sudden, your phone starts transforming. This is how you get Transformers. We're fucked. Yep. No, okay, so the problem... we're all going to be Decepticons, too. Uh Uh-huh. The problem with that is, is if there is a way to harness the power of the Earth's own magnetic field to make continuous sources of regenerating energy. Well, okay, ley then, lines. What if ley lines are what connect the pyramids together? Oh, maybe. Wow. I don't think All right, so. Calm down, Tesla. But, <laughs> but okay, so if we have continuous I'm not regenerating a fan of power, ley lines. like come on, it's going to be in the air. We're going to have so much static electricity. Okay, that it's going to be in every particle of everything. We'll have electricity flowing freely. Okay, now look at Mars. You know, okay, all of it is magneticized. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's there already. And all we have to. You're cutting Repeat out, Joe. That. Oh shit, I am. Yeah, you oh, are. Just a little. Bit. There you are. No, I was saying that maybe the energy that you were talking about, to say, oh, if we started them up, we're going to have all this energy. Well, maybe it's already there. Yeah. We all experience it and feel it every day, <coughs> but the difference would be we'd have a way to harness it. We'd have exactly. A, we'd be able to use it. Well, that's what I'm saying is if we are already taking our own electromagnetic field and we are creating energy from something that already exists... This electromagnetic field is around us all the time. Then, yes, we're not. It's not going to be. Uh, how the fuck do I put that? We're it wouldn't kill us to turn it on. Waves of we energy have we have energy constant. around us always. We are made of fucking energy. We mm-hmm. are energy. Everything hey, do we you guys eat, know any the wind, people, everything. Uh, my brother can't wear a watch, an electric watch. Yeah, my grandma was like that. You, you, you put a watch on his wrist, it'll be dead within a day. Yeah. My grandma used to do that, too. <clears throat> so it's like... Some people have that. I mean, we're, we're energy. Our yes. whole body, everything, the brain, your, soul, your circular system, your heart, everything runs on electricity. Now we're see a little here. electrical being. Now, here's the thing. Okay, here's the, here's the fucking mind blow there. Okay? So... What if we are creations? Okay, we are the fucking Terminators. We are biological, mechanical beings. Because we are. Okay? So, take us out of this atmosphere. Take us out of the energies that are here and everything else. We're gonna fucking die. Okay? We can't breathe in space without all these apparatuses and everything else that work with us. Okay? So, what if we are the creation 
that continuously evolved from the first little baby robot with the little knobs and shit. I'm just saying to be Or fair, just to play devil's anyone... advocate on that idea, what if we are the little Terminators, like you say, mm -hmm. but if we leave this atmosphere and go to another planet, we thrive because there's something here that's keeping us down. It, right? I mean, anything but, is fucking possible. Yeah. Has anyone ever yeah. tried to breathe in space? And I'm not talking, like, within any part of our atmosphere, but, like, actual outer space. Okay, so here's the thing. That would be like asking, has anybody tried to breathe in water? Yeah, uh, dude, they well, did. No, that's happened. And they <laughs> fucking drowned. Actually, you can. Okay. <laughs> you can. But so, they have oxygenated water that the military uses, and the guys can actually breathe water. Breathe the oxygenated so water, <laughs> for sure. Right. For yeah. sure. But I don't think anyone's ever actually tried to take a breath in space. <sighs> no one's died up there like that. Well, uh, we don't have it. That'd be like saying, hey, Private Ryan. Take your take your mask off. With yeah, a gun but to his head. okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, open. but see here, here, here's the problem with that. Okay, even if we could breathe in space, like realistically, if we could breathe in space, it's too goddamn to cold for us to live. You, you know, in space, no cold. one can hear you. You're like you and Eric. Hmm. You guys can't handle because there's no atmosphere for the sound to travel through. There's yeah, nothing be a little to hard. But If an astronaut floats now, away, did he really? <laughs> Brent, no, but, like, wouldn't it be messed up if, like, let's say they actually lost air pr like pressure in the ISS? And everybody just lived because yeah, we could breathe there the realized, whole fucking oh, time? no way. <laughs> <laughs> we have been bringing up oxygen to space for, like, 30, 50 years, and we didn't need to. Yeah, pretty much. You know, now that you bring that up, that, that's kind of blown my mind. It's like, well, they've always said, you know, well, if you're in space and you don't have air, you're going to die. Well, what if we don't? Yeah. Like, no one, <laughs> nobody has actually died because, oh, there's no air in space. No, it's been. I think they should experiment. You know, somebody we can kick out an airlock. Okay, we got a bunch <laughs> of prisoners. <laughs> oh, okay. I have a little bit of a list, but. <laughs> uh. And you know what? It wouldn't be the worst experiment that a U.S. government source has ever done. I'm just saying. Send all the serial killers in prison up there. Yeah. We don't have a fucking spaceship that big. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why don't we have a big spaceship? We're Why don't we just send them up to Mars like we did to frickin' Australia? Right? Yeah! Thrive, bitches! Everything will and if they don't, Australia. whatever. And we'll send up all the poisonous <laughs> shit off Australia up there, too. No, fuck that. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, we like those things. We like them. Maybe that's where it all came from. Right. Friend. Let's make a penal fucking colony on Mars and make them do the back labor. Yeah. <laughs> penal. Okay, so we're back to Total Recall? <laughs> huh? Fuck yeah, we're back to Total Recall. <laughs> But it's okay, because it was all in his head. It was the first Matrix, bitches. <laughs> well, you know, there's, the hell? there's another theory out there that goes right along that line. That <clears throat> Earth is a penal column. And yeah, well, we're, the, we're the prisoners? The kids from around the universe, they said, ah, just put them on Earth. Fuck it. Like throw them on that, you know, them on that shit planet over oh, there. The They'll never thrive. Yeah. Humans are crazy. Put them all on Earth. Let them just battle it out, kind of like uh, Escape from New York. And that's what, the worst. Part oh of my that is. god! And that's what UFO sightings are. That's that's all the all the aliens <laughs> going to the zoo. Fucking hey, prison guards. Bobby, that's there's the a tour. No, that's, a, that's what I said. That's the prison that guards. They're like ah, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> what if we are just a giant alien hunger game? Then we're failing, but. <laughs> That's where the probing came from. <laughs> what? Oh! It's the prison guards doing it. <laughs> well, every other we couple of prisons has action. one fucked up prison guard that problem? does some shady shit. We just shit. answered the UFO <laughs> problem, and we just answered the meaning of life. Uh -oh. 
To get Dude, and God is really an alien. No, the meaning of life has always been and will always be 42. 32? 42. 42. Mm-hmm. Don't forget your towel. Don't forget your towel. Yep. The neat thing about a lot of these questions we're asking tonight is that we don't have the answers. And that's the one thing that I like about humans, or at least some of them. They question things. They want to know. You want to try to find out. So you ask questions about things. The problem is a lot of the things we're asking questions about, we're (coughs) never going to have answers for. Oh, absolutely. See, and that's my favorite thing about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is they automatically give you the answer. (laughs) But 42? you have no idea what the question was. <laughs> you have your towel? Does this Lewis. make us show our work? And yeah, like it. Dude, we're never going to have the capacity to uh, know the answers to these questions. It's no, not going to happen. As long as we, we, ne- as long as we never know not the us. ultimate question to ask, we will always be able to ask questions. Well, it's kind of like uh, finding the theory of everything. You well, know he did I'm... it, but then he died. No. So. Energizer. Energizer bunny? Yep. Just keeps going and going. Hey, he, he was in space, too. You didn't see that commercial? <laughs> Jesus, what is with you in fucking commercials, bro? <laughs> 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 Kelly, oh. There's only a month left. He's getting excited for Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, Eric only watches commercials during the Super Bowl. That's it. So he's he, he's getting fired up because that's what up. Uh, you know, well, another those month are the, and a half. Those are the so. only commercial. Those are the only commercials that are worth a shit, Joe. That the is Niners. not true. That is not true. Yeah. You should watch some of the other countries' commercials. Oh, I've seen German commercials. Oh no, the ones that aren't allowed to air. Yeah, oh, buddy. Those some of those are, are those fucked are hilarious. up, <laughs> okay. and some of them are great, but some of them are super fucked up. <laughs> okay. Speaking of commercials, what the hell is wrong with Japan? Kim Jong Un. Oh <laughs> wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> wrong country. My bad. No, man, My bad. I've seen some commercial shows from Japan. I don't. <clears throat> it's not just a language barrier. There's like a consciousness barrier. There's something. Yeah, well, and then all of a sudden a cat weird. pops out and talks about Kiko Kolai, well, and then there's a monkey that comes down and a giant fucking <coughs> evil thing. Have you seen some of their game shows? Oh, yeah, fuck up wow. your Like, the one, uh, Can You Eat It? Huh? Is, the, that's the title. The, the game show, Can Translated, You Eat It? Can You Eat It? And they bring what? you items, and they are I would either be fucking... real or they're chocolate. I would be terrified. So, yeah, these guys will bite into a dirty diaper. Ew. They will bite into a full leather shoe. No, it's well, a fucking weird that, shit. That's, that's better than I was thinking. I was thinking like pufferfish or something, you know, something that'll kill you. <laughs> oh, no, nothing that'll kill fish. you, but it will make you really sick. Like, it, it's stuff that could make you really sick. Well, a dirty diaper, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> it, it, it is a really messed up show. And everything... Oh. Oh. And then some of them are just well, purely sexual in nature. Oh, hey, yeah. Cole, you remember that uh, that weird-ass music video I made <laughs> you watch the other day? There was Macarena? 30, there was 30 of them. I no, don't okay, know. yeah, I do that. I do that sometimes. But no, the animated one where, like, the sun fucking comes down and it becomes a disco ball yes. and, like, all that shit. Okay, so that is Japanese music video. Hey. That is their entire culture to me. I do not understand fuck all. And I'm like, what is that thing? Well, look at their flag. What's wrong with their flag? I missed that whole thing. I'm getting some really bad reception. It's starting to sound like last week. Yeah. Friend, there shouldn't be anything... Like, I hear a bunch of... Uh, I hear someone's car. Ambient come. noise. Yeah, like, I back feet a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> now I hear a horse walking. 
<laughs> it's just a harmony. Clop, clop, clop. Um. Well, harmony. What was your What was your favorite sculpture? Sculpture. Billy. My favorite sculpture. Billy. <laughs> uh, Megalosaur. Yeah. Well, I was originally thinking um, the uh, pyramids in the Grand Canyon are definitely ones that are really high on the list. But um, I would also say the ones that are under the water. There's many different uh, megaliths oh, yeah. that they're starting to find in our oceans. Did and that, I mean, it obviously proves that there was a great flood or a great shift of the continents and that, you know, what we can see above ground right now doesn't necessarily dictate what used to be above ground. Ooh, can I jump in as the geologist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. 12,000 years ago, most of the water was at the poles or even further down from that. Mm -hmm. And so all the ocean levels were a lot lower. Some four or five, like if you look at um, the east coast of the United okay. States, there's, you can see where there's canyons where waterfalls used to fall out, and there's a huge plain that goes out into the Atlantic that was at one time above water. And it's like that all around the Mediterranean, all the sea coasts. And if you look at the world today, all the big cities, every big civilization has been built on those. Yeah, so uh, that's where they were 12,000 years ago. Everybody had their big cities on their ports, and they had their ships, and they had trading. All of a sudden, uh, the sea level rose four, five, six hundred feet because, you know, all the ice melted. Well, that was at the Everything end of the ice age. Water. Everything wondered, yeah. and it's like that thing you brought up earlier, Eric, about what are you going to do? You know, you got a bunch of kids that don't know anything, and they're the... And they're looking at what's left over, saying, "How do we use that? What is that? What was that used for?" Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, Joe. They, uh, we absolutely you know, lose all of civilization. That show we watched last night yeah. about the Statue of Liberty, they actually said that uh, between fifteen to twenty or twelve, no, fifteen to ten thousand years ago, Ellis Island and Liberty Island were actually connected. Oh yeah, that was all and, above water, way above. Yeah, water. because they found. Um, garbage piles from the people there. Under, under the water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, so they're oyster shells mm -hmm. that they stacked up. That they had shucked and stacked up into piles and uh, I can't remember what they called it. Thousands of years of that. Some kind of trash pile is what they're called. I can't remember the name. But yeah, because I was just watching the documentary on... Piles. Right, yeah, it, it started with an M, but it uh, it's a full line from Ellis Island to Liberty Island, and there's piles of them just lined up. Mm -hmm. The garbage man didn't pick up the garbage that day. It and then all of a sudden, yeah. the mm -hmm. water rose. Do you know what has always just weirded me the hell out? Okay, um, have you guys ever heard of uh, Tana? Tana? The island of Tana. No. No. Okay. So there is a tiny island no. called Tana that's just outside of Fiji. Okay. okay. Uh, it has an inhabitant of less than a thousand people. Okay. Um, and very, very... It's tribal still. Okay. Is that the one that has In, anyone else on the island? Yeah. In okay. World War <clears throat> Two. A downed pilot landed on the island. <laughs> eh? Oh, yeah. Lunch. And now they celebrate him as a god that came in a ship from the sky. Right. And they paint they USA. Yes, they paint USA across their chest. They make structures of this plane out of like all kinds of the twigs and god. stuff. Yep. Yes, and they wear military garb <laughs> as their, like, tribal clothing, okay? Because this guy came, and he showed them how to do this, this, and this until he was rescued mm -hmm. by the Coast Guard, and then they never mm -hmm. saw him again. <coughs> so every February 15th, this tribe celebrates oh, the I day that their god will return, he better mm -hmm. show up again in a parachute. Okay. I believe they. I believe they call that the cargo cult. 
because it was a cargo plane that crashed. It was like a C one or yeah, it's the uh, John uh, DC three. John Froom or Dakota. John Fume, John Fume or Froom, Colt. Yeah. If uh, yes, and it is the the cargo cult as mm-hmm. a but yeah, a pilot named like John Froom landed on that island, hmm. and now they worship the USA pilots and everything as their sky gods. And well, every time they see like the planes show, and right? stuff go by, they talk about how one day their sky gods will return <laughs> and do all of these amazing things and make fire from nowhere and all of this stuff. Well, it's a lighter, dude. Well, okay, isn't right. that a whole? Isn't that a whole <laughs> lot like uh, the theory that there's a bunch of primitive humans here on Earth? All of a sudden, these refugees from Mars showed up, and a couple of ships. They landed a couple places around the planet. They called them gods. They called them the Anunnaki. They called them all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And they said, look, you primitive shitheads. Look, this is how you, you know, don't put your food in where you shit. You know, and uh, mm-hmm. here's how you make fire. And mm-hmm. they taught them things. Right, exactly. The story of Nibiru. Right. Yeah. Nibiru right. Nibiru comes clo- close, uh, closest to Earth every 2,600 years, I think it is. So who's to say, uh, okay, so uh, with that, who's to say that these sky gods that came down and showed us this or that or whatever weren't just a more advanced civilization on the other side of the fucking planet? Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily have to even be aliens. They could be somebody that's uh, (laughs) 10,000 years more advanced than our culture was at that point. They came over, they crashed right. their freaking plane, and they were like, somebody oh, shit. Here, yeah, well, the story somebody from Atlanta. that was here wow. in ancient times was a hell of a lot more advanced oh, than all the primitive humans running around. Because every civilization has stories about people showing up and go, look, you troglodytes, look, here's how you do stuff. Here's, <laughs> yeah. here's, here's language, here's how you build a house, here's right. how you grow crops, here's right. how you make fire. But see, this is the You're thing. All the basics. Is that we are all it's the cargo still. Cult. Yes, because we We're are just all like those still people on that island of Tuba. there. Yeah, but I yeah. want to send them all volleyballs now. <laughs> right? Give them friends. <laughs> see, but see, that, right? So that's what I'm wondering, though, is that every. Like, if you look at the world civilizations right now, okay? We have way different levels of civilization. Mm-hmm. Okay, everything from yep. where we still have islands that are inhabited only by this small group of people and blah blah blah. Okay, so if something yeah. were to happen, where again it was like a cataclysm that happened, and that fucking island is the only one that's left, and we spread from there, hmm. it's gonna be a renew just like this. And they'll talk about their sky gods and their sky beings and their this and that. When all it was was a damn crashed airplane from World War II. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, look at some of the hieroglyphics they and and different ancient uh, art they show different kinds of airplanes and aircraft. Yeah. It looks very much like what we have now. A helicopter. <laughs> mm-hmm. They had a yeah, helicopter. You go well. back to the Egyptians. <clears throat> you circle yep. back around to the Egyptians. There's uh, it's the Temple of Isis, I believe, uh-huh. and there's right. I mean, it's a Black Hawk helicopter, for God's sake. I know, it looks yeah. like I mean, it's, almost, it's like, oh, well, I don't know, it might be a crane with a crocodile in its mouth. No, it's a Black yeah. Hawk helicopter. Jesus so who, Christ. They and that's where I'm at. That's, I know exactly what that is. Right, and that's where I'm at. So who's to say that all these aliens that we're seeing aren't actually fucking <laughs> aliens? What if they're just Maybe a more a advanced flip. human Maybe race? Flip. I mean, think about it. If they got a Black Hawk helicopter, that's not aliens. That's slip. someone from now ending up back then. Right. So there you go with the whole time travel bullshit paradox thing. But if the grays right? are a time slip, that means we didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> if we end up like the grays, I'm done. <laughs> no, Joe. Hey, if we keep... Theory that the grays have actually come back to tell us what not to become because we uh, in one timeline there is a timeline where the great the, where we decided to not be aligned with our heart and our energetic system 
and we went um, into fear and we went into uh, not uh, natural uh, ways of procreating and we actually lost our ability to procreate and we lost our ability to love and we turned into these greys and that's why they're coming back is to warn us. There's one theory that I've heard. I like that idea. You know, and that's the thing that I think too is like honestly... If we keep going down the route that we're going right now, I think that the most historically accurate fucking movie of all times is Wally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone got fat and lazy. Fat, lazy, and we just laid on a thing until we became Jabba the motherfucking hut. <laughs> like sitting around looking at our phones. Right. We don't need arms or legs if we don't do anything. <clears throat> oh, you need your arms. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I was thinking about this time yeah. slip. I was thinking about this time slip thing, and um, I, I did read a thing recently that, that said, "Okay, what in the ancient world? What was the most powerful military force in the world? The Roman soldiers. They were mm. it, they conquered the entire world. The average Roman soldier was five foot two. <laughs> right? Now, if I were to go wow. back in time, even further than that." They go, my God, look, giants! Yeah, okay, so that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Okay, so what okay, if... Uh, now you make fire, you do... Uh, of course, right. then they got rid yeah. of all the giants, and of course, you know, the, the, the winners write the history. Maybe the giants were pretty cool. I'm well, um, the giants. And that's guys. what I'm saying. Because, okay, you know, so maybe maybe David right, Goliath... Maybe, no, they're cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe David and Goliath was just some dude that was like, holy fuck, how did I get here? Okay... <laughs> And then you got hit by a rock right between the eyes. Right? Hit by a Give rock. Back You're a moron. Moron. Fish. I didn't say the smart ones went back. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the big dumb ones, right? Just the big dumb ones flying mm-hmm. helicopters. Right? Yeah, <laughs> flying a black hawk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that actually does track, because look at the guy who just flew around a Walmart for like five hours. Right. Uh, we got a guy up here who... Um, what? Jesus Christ. He wrote the middle finger in the sky. Oh, with yeah. Plane. With his airplane. Like, and then we had a guy at SeaTac actually steal a plane and go for a joyride. <laughs> oh, that was a while back, yeah. I yeah, because they one. fired him. I get it. Like, That's he, the thing, he though. He not okay? have been supposed to be in that Black Hawk. He just stole it. <laughs> Right, so so like these guys their heart who disappeared in their planes. Right. And so these guys are just are sitting teaching there. our kids how to steal airplanes. Hmm? GTA five. Microsoft um, simulator. And shoot. Yeah, like with Fortnite. Right. Yeah. And if, if some kid disappears and you know, they're not gonna necessarily tell us if it's some explanation like that. Yeah. Right. Like, you look at that movie uh, from the 80s, War Games. <coughs> yep. Half of our kids what movie? could end uh, War, War games. games with Matthew Broderick. Oh. Or, it, uh, let's go Ender's Game. Yeah, Ender's Game. Yeah. You look at half of our kids. Oh, I just saw that last night. And <laughs> they could end up in that situation. And Without even, even knowing that it. That they are actually killing other uh-huh. people. Yeah. You know, speaking wow. of guys stealing stuff, I was down in San Diego when the guy broke into the armory down there and stole a tank and started <laughs> driving it around on the freeways down there. I was yeah. down there in San Diego when that happened. It was like, this is great! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I want a tank. Right. I want a striker. So, um, who's this? Uh, Eddie? Eddie? Bauer? Bauer? No, I can't remember. The last <laughs> he, he's a strong man. Oh, okay. Uh, a, like professional weightlifter. Oh. Uh, the, his nickname's the Beast. Eddie Money. But he uh, he bought a tank with his first the money he won in his For first real? Um, weightlifting, and it's street legal. Jesus! Wow. wow. It, it's in is the it UK. Like a little, is, is it a Sherman or something small like a little McClellan or something? Or? No, it's a Sherman. Like it's big, friend. And oh, uh, nice. He owns a set of. Oh, gems. you imagine the like outdoor adventures you could go on. <laughs> well, he drove it to his gym, and they, him and his friend, got it on video because it was his first time bringing it out in a few years. Hmm. And there was a guy parked at his gym. <laughs> 
in the handicap area. <laughs> oh no! He, he was in a Porsche. I saw this. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was all a setup. It was all a setup, though. Was it? If you watch the whole video, it was all a setup. The guy drove there in his tank. He's over in England. Yeah. And he had yeah. a British Centurion tank. And the guy parked in a handicap in his BMW, told him to fuck off, and then the guy drove the tank over the car. It yeah. was all a setup, though. Was oh, damn it. To this guy. Fred, uh, that sucks. <laughs> Fred, I think it's Eddie Hall. Yeah, because you know he would go to jail for that. Oh, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. And his uh, tank would be taken away. What happened? I <laughs> pissed me off, so I ran him over with my fucking tank. <laughs> like, what? Oh, yeah, it is. It, like it's Eddie Hall. All over what? again. Right. That never happened. One of my happened. favorite movies of all time is uh, Kelly's Heroes. That's why I've always liked the yep. idea of a Sherman tank. But I like the half tracks <laughs> they had in the beginning of that movie first. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a pickup truck with tank treads on the back. You can go anywhere, you know, and this is the year of Mad Max. We all know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 2023, Mad uh, Max. Well, like, <coughs> something that became popular a few years ago in Canada is you can actually buy these um, small tracks that go on each of your truck tires, and it's, it turns oh, yeah. a truck into a snowmobile. Mm-hmm. It is really? the coolest thing. Nice. Friend, yeah. And each tire gets its own track, huh. and it's like it's a tri- like crampon tri- for your tires. Yeah, and it's like a triangular system though, but you get yeah, yeah. two inch paddles on it, and supposedly oh you can get up to a hundred miles an hour in those things. Damn, friend. So wow. yeah, like it's pretty cool. Huh. huh. Friend, um, well, my truck's Canadian. I'll have to look into that. Well, I've actually seen the thing where, uh, with the Wounded Warriors project, where they're uh, building wheelchairs that have tank treads on them, so guys can go out and go into the wilderness or go out through the woods or go out hunting or whatever they want to do. I think oh, it's the awesome. greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, that, that is, is cool. Awesome. That is freaking awesome. That's awesome. I get free free gifts from Wounded Warriors every year. Oh yeah. Joe, look in the tr- look look in the <laughs> chat. My mom. Oh, there we go. Hmm? You just drive onto them? Shit. Yeah. You drive onto them and for him. Huh. It's kind of <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and like four years ago, everyone owned these. Damn. Friend. If you're listening, you got to go in the Discord chat. Or but shit. you go through gas like crazy, apparently. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I would think you'd have to good, you'd have a good transmission for that kind of shit. Too. <coughs> but uh, like you think of how popular track vehicles used to be, mm-hmm. like in the fifties, mm-hmm. we had school buses that had tracks on them. Yeah, for everything. Well, and it, see, that's the thing is everything cycles around. Yeah, I mean everything, trying. including style and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, how many fucking people do you see in bell bottoms now? Well, look at record players. Okay. They're coming, I mean, they're back. Yeah. Everything cycles around. Yep. It's the way of the world. (laughs) Oh, it's coming. It's coming next year. I have Fox older than most of you people. (laughs) Oh. Uh, Atari Atari will be back in two years. You know, Joe? Joe, we don't want to hear about your crusty socks, sir. If you tried making it onto the nice list, you can get a new pair of socks for Christmas every once in a while. I'm just saying. (laughs) Once in a while, <laughs> I got a la- I got a lamp okay, for I Christmas. Have a okay, pair of my dad's old wool socks and those things are amazing. They don't right. make socks like they used to. Oh, oh hell I no! Not. Hell no! Socks used to be. And, like... and Joe, if you'd stop throwing pointy sticks at Santa Claus and recognize it's Santa Claus, not an alien, uh, you, you might get something <laughs> nice. I, I just I just have this thing where I don't let anybody on the top of the mountain. You know? I don't care who you are. Try to teach. <laughs> yeah, I don't care who you are. I, have I don't let people climb down my chimneys and watch no, the children. No, that's that's creepy. why you got the dog. That's kind of okay. <laughs> All right. Shit, you're the Grinch, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> In his oh, pointy suit. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> cool. You live on top of a mountain. For a, you got a small dog. For a, don't let anyone up there. 
and his pointy stick grew three times that day. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> it was a Peroni stick. Um, yeah, well, I, I tried to stick people handlers dog. She won't. She won't do it. <laughs> Wait, wait, no. did, you, did you say staple? He tried to put antlers on the dog, but she won't do it. Yeah, but it broke up right there, and it sounded like you said, I tried to staple antlers to my dog. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's what I said. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. That's why she won't do it. <laughs> she wasn't having it. <laughs> She's looking at me right now. Uh-huh. You talking about me? You talking about me? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Me. I'll see anybody else here. <laughs> uh, okay, okay whoa, 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 right whoa, 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 at, there's the H cut, the H cut stones exactly. Mm-hmm. This place was put together like Legos, and something blew it up because it's like oh. it was all this big structure, and something went kaboom. I'm and just I don't know, saying, maybe right. if that was the aliens trying to uh, create an energy <coughs> source, or if somebody had something there and somebody else that didn't like them flew by and blew the place up. But those stones were scattered all over the place. Yeah, they but were. Is, the that, is, that, is that the place they, they things, had? There are things in that. <laughs> they found stones that have to be precision laser cut. Well, and see, that and was the these, thing like, about 12, it. 12,000 years old. It's one of the oldest places on Earth. It's yeah. almost it's as old as uh, Gobekli Tepe. That Who is did? explainable. Yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't have, do it. I have an explanation for that. What you got? I'm going to take a uh, cut out of Eric's book here. For, have you guys seen those Japanese commercials where they have the knives? <laughs> it's one of those guys. They went down there. They had one of those chef's knives. And for, they beat it against the rock and then cut through it like butter. Yep. For, <laughs> so it's also a clever cleaver. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> now, is that the location, though, that had a radi- uh, radiation signature? No. No. There's no radiation no, signature but, uh, there. Puma Punku is very close to what they call the Temple of the Sun, which was a big place, and uh, they got part of the walls there. And there's all these little faces all around the inside of it. Okay. They're weathered heavily because they're probably 12,000 years old. Mm-hmm. But they figured it was every race around the world, and some of them that maybe aren't on this world. Mm-hmm. Well, what That's about the Army? Huh? The Terracotta Army. Yeah. What? They have radiation. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Army was just some rich but. Chinese guy who said, Hey! <laughs> I want all of my soldiers done it. You know, he had to control people somehow. You, well, he had you to keep had, them busy. Yeah, because you had first to be they, very First they uh, built rich. that damn wall. <laughs> I would, but, too, uh, yeah, if, if the Attila Chinese the Hun was on the other side. Made it illegal. The Chinese government has made it illegal. To go into that temple where the uh, terracotta army was found is actually about a, it's about a mile away from that pyramid. They dug it up and they found it and they said, "Oh, here's the pyramid. Let's go in and check it out." And the Chinese government said, "Huh? No, you don't. No, you ain't going anywhere near that." And it's not the only one. There's a whole bunch of them over there. Yeah. Again, we talked about that earlier. There are pyramids everywhere. There's some in Bosnia that make the uh, yep. Egyptian pyramids look like Legos. Okay, mm-hmm. whoa, dude. So what if the terracotta army, right, was just a bunch of golems? Or their attempt at golems. That's yeah. terrifying. From Asgard? Or just no, a no, 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 society, no. yeah. Right? But I mean, yeah, like, I'm willing, what? I'm willing, to, I'm willing to bet that the Chinese emperor back then told his army, look, we're going to have these guys sculpt because each one of them is individual. Each right. one is an individual They got to sculpt themselves. So they probably said, okay, Bob, sit there in the chair, stand there, hold your spear. We're going to make a... Terracotta guy. You. They killed him. But, okay, let's go with what Kayla said there. And his where spirit went is... into that terracotta. Yeah, okay. It's um, like that shit where the uh, emperor dies, so they 
kill all his relatives and stick them in the same tomb. Yeah, because, you know, wow. their spirits have to kill the wife, live kill eternally the kid. forever. Yeah. So what if the Mercury River has something to do with waking them up? Well, and that's what I'm saying. The so, Mer- uh, what? The Mercury River in that pyramid is something they're thinking is there. They might be there, but they don't know because they haven't gone in. Well, obviously so they haven't gone in because they would fucking die if it actually <laughs> was Mercury. <laughs> but... Well, they could wear one of those COVID masks and go in. So... <laughs> <laughs> <We're> in- <laughs> <we're> in- <laughs> How far do you think we'll be in five years? How far to what? <clears throat> with technology to actually go in and investigate this shit with drones. The same place we are now? We're never going to go in there. No? Wait a minute, no. going with drones? No, the, the Chinese government will not let anybody go into that mountain. Mm-hmm. Well, so... So five okay. years from now, guess what? Nobody will be able to go into that mountain. Hey, what if it's not a mountain? What if it's a fucking pyramid? Uh, I don't agree it with is. that, Joe. It's I a pyramid. pyramid. I don't think right? it's a mountain. It. Yeah, it's but it's not a mountain. Grown. It's just like those fucking hills and goddamn... Uh, it's man-made. Yeah, exactly. I think the problem I is... I think a lot of these things are like only accessible by certain consciousness levels. You know, if they have like safeguards, kind of like the Sorcerer's Stone on Harry Potter, you know, where like the only one that can attain it is the one who wants to hold it but not actually use it. So it's like there, I think... You know, that there are definitely, there are booby traps. And I think that, you know, the ancients were, they were wizards. They were, you know, sorcerers. They knew Smart how to Smart-ass motherfuckers. Smart-ass motherfuckers. Yes. In different ways. Then, well, why don't we, we, you know, why don't we get all the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Why, why don't we get all the people that can, um, what do you call it, uh, astral, astral jump or <laughs> check. Why don't we have all them going and look? Here, here's, here's the problem. A lot of these no gov- going in and looking. A lot of these governments. Many people have. Yeah. We 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 know the U.S. has been using remote viewers since at least the fifties and sixties. Men who stare at goats. I think everybody has. Mm-hmm. So, everybody has. I can guarantee you, China has the same shit, if not better trained yeah. than ours, because they're ahead of us. Yeah, so if you go in there remotely to try to check it out, their remote viewers are going to kick your ass out. Yep. Well, right. maybe we send our remote viewers to kick them out, and then we send in the other remote viewers. Well, <laughs> and that's the thing, Joe. And like, so yeah. on and so forth, and then they tell two friends, and then they tell two friends. Right, and this could be you, the you great remote saying, war of 2023. Yeah. Joe, you kept saying war. no one's well, going Maybe it's been going there. on. No, it is an energetic war. <laughs> hmm? Joe, you kept saying no one's going in there. That's not true. China's definitely going in there. There's no way they're not. They're like, what is they, it? No, Their government having... is definitely going in there, but not telling anyone. Because the, the problem is, oh, there's I... got to be something in there. That not if letting they, anyone else in. Yeah, if they let everyone else in, even other governments, hmm. it's going to cause some shit. Can... Kind of like Egypt with the pyramids and the Sphinx and all that shit? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Bunch of lying assholes. Everyone thinks, you know, everyone always bags on the U.S. about, oh, they're not. But none of the governments tell us anything. No. Unless it's Brazil. And they're like, yeah, that shit's real. It's super <laughs> fucked up, guys. <laughs> Come we'll check it out. They're like, yeah, Pacha Yep, they were there. Uh huh. The go, fuck, there's UFOs everywhere. What, who's, the, who's the other one? Uh, over there in Europe, uh, the Netherlands uh, or something? Uh, uh, no, so, Argent- I know. Yeah, ne- so Netherlands. Back in the 70s. Right? Yep. I'm just saying that if Harmony's right and the Terracotta Army, in order to wake them up, you have to be the one that's willing to have them but not use them, I'm, I'm never going to wake them up. Mm-hmm. I would have the biggest they're, they're Uber company. I got a pointy stick to take care of those assholes. But they, I, I just, I would wake them up and make them all drive Uber. <laughs> Fucking it. You know how much money I'd make? Right? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'd drive over them in my street legal Sherman tank. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now it's like some night at the museum bullshit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, probably. Like, I'd wake them up and I couldn't get them to do shit. And they'd be like, ha! Fuck! Wait, <laughs> wait, that's a shit. Uh, you can play games on that? Nothing Xbox? like waking... There's nothing like waking up an army from the 12th century. And they come at you with pointy sticks. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we can take these guys out in a day. They're made of fucking terracotta. All we gotta do is knock yeah. them over. <laughs> okay. I can't even keep a terracotta wow. pot on my porch without the dog breaking it. Seriously, I want to get one and I want to put a whole bunch of succulents in him. <laughs> but the idea of a clay golem is even if you stab through them, it just goes through them. Well, that's because they're made of wet clay. Yes. Not hardened. But they've just been asleep. What if they turn into wet clay when they wake up? Well, then it'd be really hard to walk. Why? Because you'd be sticky. You'd be real slippery. <laughs> so the more you walk... <laughs> seriously, the more you walk, the less of your body comes. You're like, nah. You can only make it, like, And I they don't get know, taller and feet. taller and taller? No, you yeah. get shorter and shorter because you're leaving past plops oh, of clay right. everywhere. No, that's Iraqi mud. Uh, Iraqi well. mud, you walk and you get tall because all the mud's glomming onto your boots. <laughs> and they are packed into that room <coughs> fairly tight together, so if they all like turned to wet clay and you knocked one over, they're all like just gonna become one big glob. <laughs> and they'd be one, like, God damn it, Bob! Why? One terry okay. co- terracotta soldier. That's it. <laughs> right. But he's huge. <laughs> like the marshmallow man. Yeah. Oh my god, mm-hmm. it just sucks them all. Yeah, in. they even have terracotta horses. Yeah. Oh, God. oh, dude, do you know how fucking scary it would be to have a wet clay horse running at you? <laughs> I'd be like, fuck! <laughs> nope, no thanks. Uh-uh. That's some bullshit. I, I think that'd be pretty I'd cool. let the horses live. So who, I like the horses. Who's down for going to Russia and checking out Diet Low Pets? Dude, I can't even walk up to fucking Marble Mount at the top of it without being like, Ugh, fucking air up here. I'm not going to goddamn Russia. I want to go to Dialog Pass. You have fun well, you with know, that. Okay, the okay here's, here's the thing about places like Dialog Pass. People say, oh, we're going to go there. It's like, really? And you're going <laughs> to see something that happened 80 years ago? That's oh. like saying, I'm going to go to Gettysburg and I'm going to see everything. No. <laughs> Something happened. It was horrible, whatever it was. But you can go there every weekend on your days off, and you're not going to find out shit. Right. Eric, gonna... you can't handle it when we hit 38 degrees. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's <laughs> That's what I'm saying, that. dude. No fucking way. I ain't going and walking it's around the Otlo Pass. There, is that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Pat. I am not prepared for that shit we'll at all. We'll go in the summer. <laughs> Great, so it's negative Where'd 20. Why don't you try Donner Pass for a weekend? Then tell yeah. me about going to Dyatlov. Right? <laughs> Donner, party of three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Donner, party three. I've always wanted oh. to open up a restaurant up there and sell lady fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> Come out with a, a, yeah, a ball gag and a mask. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Wrong kind of wrong kind of red. Oh, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. What are you thinking about, man? I, I think you went to the wrong kind of restaurant, sir. Joe. Ain't nobody want to eat that. I'm just saying, if Eric comes to the bunker, you might not want to answer. That, <laughs> that was the pyramids were used for. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh my God! How oh, fuck? Wait, wait, how? Wait, wait, wait. No. I, I said for Christmas, all I got was a lamp. I take that back because my brother gave me two five-gallon buckets of um, Mad Max food that will last for twenty-five years. Nice. Oh hell yeah! Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, well, uh, dude. <laughs> so, pepper gear. This is terrible. But what if that that is actually what it is? Okay. <laughs> what? So, what, the pyramid? so what if all these like terracotta soldiers and shit are just like emperor sex toy? <laughs> oh, they didn't have inflatable yeah. dolls. <laughs> no, yeah, but, well, you I'm know, saying. he's I'm like, ah, say. I want a different face for every night. <laughs> he was pretty loose back then. <laughs> then. <laughs> <Karen Army. laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> it was the terracotta sex slave army. Yeah. 
<laughs> he got sick of rocks, so he made his own people. Uh huh. Yeah. His, his equivalent but, was but, a but, 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 but they're all dudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, to each their hey, own, yeah. sir. Go to Astro Hotel. Whatever floats his boat. Yep. Fair On his Mercury River. <laughs> yep. <Jesus. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very dirty right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got the pharaoh stand in there. The Welcome to my pyramid. Yeah. Oh. What do you guys? What do you think that the uh, enclosure that a lot of people say was a spot for a uh, sarcophagus in the no. Great Pyramid? No. Do you believe that that's what it was for? Because for some reason, there, I think it there was, was never for a person like in a there. Pastor, or maybe even the um, what do they call it? The the Ark of the Covenant. Is rumored mm. to be a place in, in the pyramid. Do you do you guys think that that is entertainable idea? The the simple idea that everyone mm. needs to understand is that no one was ever buried in the those three pyramids. In the three, they yeah, were think. something else. Whether Definitely. they were energy sources oh. or a storage place, you know, a storage place for the Ark of the Covenant. That kind of makes sense if everybody's thinking along an energy source. But th- right. There, there were not any any mummies. There's no mummies any in of those there. Pyramids. Those three pyramids are something different. Yeah. And the Sphinx yeah, they was were there buried in the Valley of the pyramids. Kings. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, right. The well, other pyramid, the Valley of the Kings. The uh, well, uh, uh, except for Khufu, who was buried under the Step Pyramid. Yeah, and the three, what? like, those well, three pyramids don't idiot. have anything in them. Yeah. There are other ones that did have them, <laughs> and they were all, like, a lot of them were moved to the Valley of the Kings <laughs> when they figured out they were being the robbed. The Bent Pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> the Bent Carrot Pyramid. Has. He drank too much So it's curious wine. because the dimensions match the Ark of, of, Ark of the Covenant of that, uh, Stone, what they're calling yeah. a sarcophagus. Exactly. What if it's you had to store it? It was a huge energy source, from yeah. what everybody says in the Bible, plus all the other texts that say it was an energy source. So what if maybe we're that's just... why they had it there. there. There's little tiny channels that are no bigger than like eight by eight blo- uh Channels that run out of the King's Pyramid. They call it the King's Pyramid. There's no king ever buried there. <laughs> but they run up and out of the pyramid at the top. And th- there was something there. I don't know what it was. Um, as far as the Egyptians building it, I don't believe that for one second. In fact, everyone says, well, it used to be covered in limestone. There's this big, white, shiny thing. Well, if you go into right. Cairo... All the buildings in Cairo were built with all the stuff that they stole and raped off of those pyramids to build their own yeah. buildings. Yeah. The, the mm-hmm. Egyptians had nothing to do with those pyramids. Well, and that's the thing. They call it the King's Pyramid, Joe, but I agree with you. There was never anyone in there. The thing is, history is written by the winners. So when the first yeah. king of the Egyptians said, or won... He said, that's mine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I built all of a that. Sudden, all of a, yeah, like yeah, all of a sudden, my now it's his. Uh, he built it. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. History would reflect that because look at uh, the one um, Egyptian king, he said uh, he changed their complete religion in Dude, like 10 yeah. years. Yeah, Tutankhamen. Akhenaten. Yeah. Akhenaten basically changed their entire religion. He said, look, let's uh, cut out with this bullshit with 800 different gods. There's only one god. The god is the sun. He was called Akhenaten. Yeah. And uh, if you look at pictures of him, he's got a big old <laughs> belly. He's got a weird lake, weird shaped head. Because all the rest of the <laughs> pharaohs, they're like, oh, yeah, I was a linebacker in the NFL. Make that my picture. And that's the way they <laughs> they depicted him. It's all bullshit. Akhenaten said, "I like it." His queen was um, Nefertiti. Their kid was Nefertiti. Tutankhamun. 
Yeah. Akhenaten's kid was Tutankhamun. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that's the guy that we found. Uh, and they actually the think her, like they have Obama. never found his mom's uh, burial chamber. And they think it might be behind Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. Well, it's like a hidden door, maybe. Okay, they so haven't the, gone mm-hmm. through yet, but, you know. See, the and thing that always... Said, Look, there's only <laughs> one God. And he was kind of weird. His kids were weird. His family was weird. And as soon as they all died off, and uh, Tutankhamun, I think he died when he was 18. And yeah, as soon as that happened, all the, all the assholes in Egypt took over and started everything back up that they've been doing for thousands of years and chiseled out their pictures and all that crap. These okay, but what assholes. about... What about... Blew the face off the well, I mean, like, there's very little that we even know about his older brother, Tutmos. And honestly, right. he should have been the next in line, so why the hell wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Where did he go? <laughs> he was probably killed as well. No, you like, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like this is like the lost piece of Egyptian history as to that line should have been passed to Tutmos. It should have never been passed to Tutankhamun in the first place. So where the hell did this whole other person go? Palace intrigue. <laughs> right. <laughs> or was he just like, ah, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> well, you know, when it comes to royals, I really don't give a shit. And uh, that goes for the British royals and all their bullshit. And everyone's all fascinated on them. You know, we told them to screw off about 240 years ago, but everyone's fascinated with Prince Harry and all that. I hate the royals. I really do. I'll say it. I'll come out. I'll, I'll put on my gravestone. Here lies Joe. Blah, blah, blah. He hated the royals. Royal lines of succession are bullshit. <coughs> again, you know. Oh, no. Did I piss off the people that like Lady Diana? No. No, uh, no not at all. I'm, I, I'm reading I'm taking notes. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to research your pyramids. To me, royals are just pharaohs. another form of freaking... It's just like uh, people that worship fucking celebrities for no reason or anything like that. Yeah. Okay? Exactly. The I don't give a heads. fuck about the Kardashians. Right? The royals are figureheads. They're all figureheads. Um, yeah. They're figureheads, but who's <laughs> pulling the strings? Well, there is no strings to be pulled parliament. because the parliament is pulling okay. the strings. Completely. They are <clears throat> completely just there, like there us. There are formalities shit. that they have to do. Mm-hmm. Because it's still said that they have to do them. But if Tradition. they stopped, there's nothing that would be done about it. There might be a little bit of a, like, tiffle. What do you mean there's nothing like, to be done about the royals? No. We created a whole country because <laughs> of those fuckers. Joe, <laughs> if, they, if they stopped... You're, you're part Canadian, right? <laughs> Joe, listen for a second. You Think. still bow down to them people. Think for a second and listen. If Charles is adult, if we stopped um, doing the format, the English formalities. So if part of the English Parliament stopped uh, having uh, King Charles now sign bills that they put into law, nothing would change. The so bill still the, goes into law. The British yeah. royalty has absolutely nothing to do with the laws or anything. They're just a... They're figureheads. A showpiece. Yeah. But it's yeah. figureheads, a showpiece. But They're when, nothing. But when they sign a law into effect, they still send the law, the final writing over to uh, Buckingham Palace and he signs it in front of the press. That's all that he happens. Has somebody read it to him. Probably. <laughs> and then he signs in Cran, but and he says <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Fred. But like what I'm saying is if they stop doing that the yeah. British people like some of the British people might get a little bit offended and everything, but other than that would then nothing would on. happen. Exactly. Nothing, nothing would, would happen. Change. It would be like a tea party without crumpets. Oh, where you'd be like, crumpet. oh, that a sucks. <laughs> really? It's a, it's a biscuit between... Uh, I don't a think biscuit. I've ever had a crumpet. 
<laughs> well, then you don't know what you're missing, sir, because crumpets are delicious. I've had biscuits and gravy. Yum, 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 yum. Pretty much, um... Definitely a mark. So it's like gravy <laughs> without a biscuit. Well, no, just take an English muffin, put a little bit of sugar on, just, like, sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top, right. and then leave it out for 16 days. You have a crumpet. You have a crumpet. <laughs> it's a hard-ass English muffin with sugar. Friend, they're, they're mm -hmm. horrible. Yeah. It's kind of like, who the fuck invented Vegemite? They should die. <laughs> Shut up, that shit's good. It's so gross. <laughs> or like mince meat. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <it>, fruitcake. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I like fruitcake. No. You like all the shh. It's fucking gross shit. <laughs> so, is there a pyramid in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle? Didn't I? Maybe. Didn't I hear that somewhere? There's definitely something. The Bermuda well, Triangle is a pyramid in itself. Sorry, it's just right, invisible. Right. Like but, I said earlier, <clears throat> before, like say 12,000 years ago, the mm -hmm. United States eastern coast was not where it is now. It was out hundreds of miles into the ocean. That was all dry land. Oh, shit. I'm sure okay? there's cities, there's structures. And you know what? It was there a long time ago. And what else do we have from a long time ago? Pyramids. Mm -hmm. I imagine there's stuff. They've, they they uh, found a city submerged off of uh, Cuba. They right. sent little probes down, and they went, oh, God, look at this. All of a sudden, you don't hear a thing about it. Nope. That where was do shut you, up real quick. Where they actually you can... had probes that went down, and they said, look, here's a pyramid, here's a structure, here's a wall, there's a house. And all of a sudden, man, that shut down so quick. So where do you think Probably Atlantis is? Where do you think Atlantis? Atlantis? Yeah. You know, I've, I've seen, Atlantis. I've heard a lot of things about yeah. that. And um, it might be a place that's on the southern coast of Spain that's actually now a big nature preserve that was actually covered by a huge tidal wave years ago and buried mm -hmm. and there's other there's another one maybe it's my second choice uh near the atlas mountains on the northern african coast because a lot of the descriptions of it kind of match the area so hear me out for a second what if sure. we're completely off base and the Atlanteans had technology. What if all this shit was really they just what? What if all this shit was really just Atlanteans who destroyed themselves? I still believe Atlantis isn't even here. I think it went up. So I do think it was a craft. I don't think it went up. <clears throat> I think it went down. Do you? At portal. Maybe. But what if all this was actually done by Atlanteans? They had the technology to do it. According to well, I don't know if it was the Atl I, it could have been the Atlanteans, it could have been the Lemurians, it could have been anybody. There was lots of old, old tales. civilizations all around the world that mm -hmm. supposedly existed. We haven't found evidence of them, but maybe they were there anyway. Like I said, <laughs> the sea levels have risen six, seven hundred feet. Mm -hmm. So anything they had is probably under underwater. So if their things are underwater, then maybe that's why. We can't see them. We can't find them. But well, that, that's the thing, too, though. We have uh, these different triangles. Devil's Triangle in Japan. Bermuda Triangle here. Yeah. Uh, and for whatever reason, nobody's proven anything. Their navigation goes out. Their, uh, I mean, it's almost like there's an electric or electronic field or uh, magnetic field or whatever within those triangles. That's well, causing... Is. That's there causing. is a magnetic field all around the Earth. Right, right, and, right, right, right. Uh, they found 12 points around the planet where those magnetic fields, the positives, the negatives, whatever the hell is going on, mm -hmm. um, kind of concentrate. You end up with the Dragon Sea over off of Japan. You end up with the Devil's right. Triangle. There's a bunch, but there's 12 of them around the planet. You can kind of map them out. But they are also the most heavily traveled areas sea and land and air mm -hmm. around the world. 
So where are you going to have most disappearances? Where there are the most people. Right? Right. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of people disappear in Antarctica. No, a whole lot of people. Nobody. Antarctica. <laughs> oh, that's a whole show there, man. <laughs> that's a whole lot of disappearances. <laughs> There's a lot of weird stuff going so, on down there. Uh-huh. One thing that really fascinates me as well about pyramids is the capstones, uh, the pyramidians. Um, I know that there is rumor that there used to be gold-plated capstones, marble capstones, granite capstones. What do you guys think happened to them? I know a couple are reported to be stolen um, and are like in museums and stuff. Why do you think they were removed? The bin uh, bin do stones. Do you think it's you think the fuse. Be restored. It's the fuse. Well, somebody else built the pyramids, right? They had gold capstones. Right. A bunch of troglodytes show up a thousand years later, look up, and go, shit, that's money sitting there. And they went yep. up and shipped that stuff away until it was gone. Yeah. Grand. And then they all had gold teeth. They stole the limestone right? off of the pyramids. <laughs> and big bleed things. things. But I. That's a good point, though. If it is a power source, what if they took it with them because it's a fuse? Yeah. Or what if it's the freaking on switch? <clears throat> that's that's my thoughts exactly. <laughs> so what if we put gold and silver and whatnot capstones on top of the pyramids and see what happens? Have you seen the economy? We can't afford that shit. Or the pyramid project. <laughs> Hell, we're doing stupid shit in CERN. <laughs> Why not? Why not, right? <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? Eh. <laughs> the rest uh, of the world open a there. portal to a different dimension? Oh, yeah, that sounds like CERN. It does. <laughs> you know, before CERN started, nobody talked about the um, Mandela effect. <laughs> right. <laughs> you wonder about that? That's because they forgot Maybe about it. Especially mm-hmm. that Sally Fields is like directly involved with many different Mandela effects and like her uncle works with Stern. Huh. I yeah. I didn't know that part. Yeah. That's, that's a whole other show too. <laughs> Did it? Uh, what are we talking about next week, Cole? I don't freaking know. Next what are we week? talking about next week? Fairy. Going back to fairies. No, we're not going back to fairies. Uh, <laughs> if there is a next the fairies, week. they were playing jokes on us last week. You're right. The You're abyss. Right. Didn't leave enough sparkly things for them. <laughs> huh. What do you want to do? You want to do USOs? Yeah, on the Fae. You talked about the Fae. You brought them up. I'm still confused. What the hell is Fae? It's like, okay... Uh, the brownies, the gnomes, and the, all the sea sprites. But like, is are the lake monsters? Are they fake? Are no. the Bigfoot fake? Some people say yes. Some people say no. I asked Keith last week. Are the are the aliens <laughs> fake? No. But are there fake on the alien planet? Which was one tonight. What the hell are the fake? What the <laughs> fuck are they doing? You know what? That's what's what actually one of my and questions did they last know it? week. One of my questions was: Do fake exist on other planets? My other question for last week was, do you think Jane, or, uh, uh, yeah, James Cameron's avatar is based on another planet's fate? Mmm. No. Love it. <laughs> huh. You I have always... His filmology. No. He's one oh, of the, the scariest dire- writers out there. <laughs> All right. Dude, uh, yeah, Terminator. The, and the creatures from the avatar... Alien. Uh, they have elven ears. Okay, so right. here's the thing. Okay, and I've said it to Cole, and I don't care who agrees or disagrees with me, but all Avatar is is a live action version of fucking Fern Gully. <laughs> okay? <laughs> the Mother Tree. Oh my god. We cut down Hexes. All of this shit. It's the same damn thing. It's just live yeah, I action. Told you. Can't say that yet. Because yeah. you've only seen number one. And there's going to be five. Seriously? Oh, They're making five of them? Five. Number three is already made. Wow. What? He just has to edit it. They're going to make number three because number two didn't make any money. Number three's already made. 
They ju- he just has to finish it again. It burn burn it takes him, he said it's going to take him three years to edit number three. Oh, huh. We need more Pulp Fiction. Friend. Or, or Swordfish. It, Whoa. You can't. It, those are done. <laughs> yeah, but they'll the come up with another a one. called Phone Booth. Like, come on. Oh, God, yeah. Or nine, Phone Booth? I like nine, that movie. 966 six, Evil. Friend. Like, we have some good action yeah, movies coming out, too. The next John Wick is about to drop. So... <sighs> they should just let it go. Let it go. Well, let's stop let it fucking go. John <laughs> Wick thinks they should let it go. The first one was <coughs> interesting. The second one was just repetitive stuff. Two people with pistols can wipe out 87 guys shooting at them with machine guns. Dude. Ah, uh, no. Dude. Yeah, but... Yeah, okay, you know what needed to be let go? Fast and the Furious. Yes. What are you talking about? Number 10's coming out right I there. know. They should have dropped it after three. Yeah, you know what it is? Money. It's going to be rovers on Mars. Oh, God. Yeah, buddy. Well, they already went to space. Yeah, that's the next step. I did hear The Rock and Vin Diesel uh, were having a fight over who was going to be in, uh, uh, I think it was The Rock and Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel said, yeah, no, The Rock said, fuck yeah, no. And, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Rock said, I'm out. And Vin Diesel said, no, you can't be out. And, uh, yeah. So, Rock yeah, you know, The Rock's it. smart. The Rock forgot about something. Hmm. The family. Watch Black La Academy. Familia? <laughs> yeah. What did you watch? Black Adam with The Rock. Marvel oh, yeah. movie. Yeah, it was, a yeah it was not great. I stopped watching Marvel. It was not great. None it of was it was okay. great. It was all right. It was a fucking Marvel I am movie. excited for this year, though. They have announced we're getting another Ghostbusters in December. Really? Oh, yep. Jesus Christ. Okay. You know what? There's no original thought anymore. Let's just recycle all this shit. <laughs> Friend, um... <sighs> what else was coming out? There was a whole bunch of good stuff in October coming out. instead of December. I, I heard they're doing the Brady Bunch again in uh, oh, 2020. Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> I know they're doing Hoth. Ho- 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 I want to see that Hoth. <laughs> I can see it, though. I can see all this stupid bullshit. Like, (laughs) that's what I say. We have no original thought anymore, so all of a sudden we're regurgitating fucking shit that's been around since 1902. Marty Fife coming out. Jesus. You know, I I, I, I just watched one the other day that I thought was interesting because I didn't see any of it coming and people hated it because it didn't (sighs) stick through the whole thing. It's called Bullet Train. And it was a pretty good movie. Yeah. I like Bullet Train. I could, I, I didn't know where it was going. I couldn't follow it. Um, you know, ahead of time, most movies I watch, I go, "Well, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. That's going to happen." Bullet Train was just fun to watch. Okay, so I have had this like constant vision of a movie, okay, that is like the most epic fucking love story of all times, like Notebook style fucking love story, right? Uh huh. And then they're sitting on a park bench at the very end of the movie Horse at, like, Central up. Park. Just, like, holding hands, and they're like, we're so in love! And a guy comes by, fucking holds them up, steals their shit, and kills both of them, and then credits roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> right in Detroit. Right? Oh, shit. Just because uh, you'd be like, no. oh, that was the best love story. Oh, my God! Just crush you right before the credits roll. And then you have to say something like uh, fucking dedicated to. Right. Okay. <laughs> I want to see. In Seattle. The, lovers, the lovers come out at the end of the movie. Everything is wonderful. The birds are chirping and a giant bear comes out of the woods and eats them. Right? Yep. Some fucked the up end. shit like that. And no, then it's just it, like, it, was it has no concrete, examples, no nothing, and a, then just credits fucking roll. If it was a, if it was <laughs> in uh, concrete, it would be a cougar. Or like, you have that epic car crash fucking crazy ass movie where they like rob banks and they do all this shit. And then at the very end of the movie, they get hit by a fucking train. Movie over. <laughs> roll credits. Oh, I saw that movie. It was exactly. called, um, uh, 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 Crazy Mary and Dirty Larry. I never rushed on the Southwest. Robin right. Banks, right. all that stuff he said. 
and they come screaming around the corner, and there's yep. two bulldozers parked in the road to stop them. They crash into it. We'll be yeah. over. Crazy Larry, Dirty Mary, Crazy oh, Larry. Yeah. <sighs> That's what I'm saying, okay? And do you know how fucked up that made everybody go, oh, my God! Okay, because you had traveled with these dudes the entire time, you felt their feelings, you're all crying, you're sitting there with your fucking Kleenex, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, death, over. You know, okay, so you're talking... Like or, you're, you're thinking, and Clyde. You're why? Talking, because it's fucking reality, that's You're, you're why. talking original. I like Cowboys and Aliens. Cowboys versus oh, Aliens? Yeah. I want to see yeah, that number two. Bad. That was I want to see a number two. Well, see, now it's not original though. Now you got number two. So what are we going to have? We're yeah, going to have no, uh, imperial soldiers versus but stop aliens. Stop it at two. No, you're bringing the Native Americans in. They join forces against the the alien ship that comes back. Oh. They've, and you have an Indian chief. In a, a you have an Indian chief that mysteriously he has the same bracelet as the cowboy did. Okay. All right. Yeah. I thought you were like taking it farther back in time no. and having it be like. No. The aliens <laughs> come back and all of a sudden uh, the cowboys and Indians were Babylonians fighting. Babylonians and aliens. But now right? they have to join exactly. forces. There's been no movie the Anunnaki. You know? We don't see the, the Babylonian people in the sky and holding their pine cones and their purses and the weird stuff that they did and. <laughs> right, and that's the thing. We see so many fucking movies about Greek and Egyptian gods. Mm-hmm. We see so many movies about Vikings. We see so many movies about uh, Asian cultural stuff and job. gods and stuff, right? You don't see but, so much about the Irish and the Scottish, though. But you don't... <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> what? Okay, leprechauns. Um, <laughs> or, I don't know, Braveheart? Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's there's a lot of movies. And or the Jabberwocky Army. Show. Or the, let's go to ancient Sumerian. But that's what I'm saying. Once yeah. you hit, once you hit a certain period of time, you'll have like historical record of this. But you don't have stories from that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's like I, it's like they never existed. The like, idea of Jurassic World had or Jurassic Park had to be made, bringing them into the future. Because if you just had a movie about dinosaurs, it's kind of fucking boring. <laughs> right. Actually, there's been several yeah. movies about just dinosaurs. Yeah, I know, that were forty-eight fucking of them, awesome. But so, like, I think where that's the number we're at is Land Before Time, forty-eight. Well, if, <laughs> forty-nine if you include the sing-along version. Oh, good God! For, I stopped after the two. The best, the best historical movie ever made was Monty Python and the Rail. No, it was never ending story. Never-ending story all the way. Ah, oh, good God. <laughs> These strong <laughs> hands. Okay, yeah, totally. <laughs> all right, so, so, so next week we are hitting UFOs? We just hit a UFO. You did? Yeah, on South Gadget. It was fucked up. <laughs> yeah, the way I did look at it. Huh? U.S.O. U.S.O.s. Un- uh, so, yeah. Let's talk about the ocean. Okay. Yeah. What if what if UFOs are around us everywhere, but they're like microscopic? I mean, you know. What there you say. go with your Horton. Yeah, Here's the yeah, whole bullshit again. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's better under the sea. <laughs> the seaweed is always greener. <laughs> so that's what that's what's I'm interesting. What if, and we'll talk about this next week. But what if, like Joe said, the sea level was five hundred feet. Lower, well, and the aliens was. had their bases in dry land. Well, what if I'm what? just saying we always see videos of USOs going down into the water? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we right. never see them of them coming up. Maybe they can't breathe under there either. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no, all right, they've been seen coming yeah. and going every Maybe time. Down. Every you think time, they dive, dive into the ocean and then die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so every time you guys, on, you, man. The you guys of the bring ocean up is just littered with bodies. Right. Every time you guys bring up USOs, okay, the only thing I can think of is fucking Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> okay, and he's like, "Oh, it's another UFO." <laughs> okay, I just. Handle it. So sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I always think about the abyss. Hey, That's my first oh, yeah. thought. Do you know what? That was also that was a- written by. 
I think of the cartoon version of Atlantis. Oh yeah, my okay. god. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Look, I built the bridge. It took me like a three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Harmony, Joe, thank you for being here. Hopefully we'll have the rest of the panel oh, back next week. Yep. Friend, um, R. Keith, Nikki, feel better. Rick. Feel better. Feel better. I hope you're winning at Forza. <laughs> yeah. Friend. Um, but yeah. For everyone else, we will see you next week. As we talk about USOs. Bye everybody. <laughs> Bye. So much love. Blessing. Data transfer complete. System malfunction. Please evacuate immediately. Program terminated. Son of a biscuit eater.